Halloween vlog. Tonight we are at Frightmare in Gloucestershire. It's the first time I've ever been here. I'm joined tonight by Mark. Firstly, I'd like to say a big thanks to Vicky and all the team here at Frightmare for offering us tickets to come down tonight. Really looking forward to seeing what this event has to offer. I've heard really good things from it from quite a lot of people from the roller coaster enthusiast community. So really looking forward to trying out the mazes, see what they're like, see what the whole event's like. So we'll see where the night takes us. I'm sure you'll see lots of footage of me and Mark absolutely bricking it. And have a little walk around, see what's here, and then we'll hear from Mark shortly and get his thoughts on another night of him being scared to tears. What have you got in your head? It's a bag! A bag? You got a Bagman? Bag Cost you 5p for that? No, I'll no. collect them. Collect them? How many have you got? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I want bags and bags. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, up. Oh. 20 quid. 20 quid? And it's only been used once. Only once. I'll, I'll take one of those later. You come and find me, will you? I will do, will do. We are just waiting on the mazes to get going. Before we do, we're going to speak to Mark, see what he thinks. But before that, there will be flashing lights, there will be swearing, probably from this man. A lot from this man normally. <laughs> what are you expecting for Frightmare tonight? I, d I, d I don't know what to expect. That's, that's a good thing. When you come to mazes, it, you don't really want to know what you're going to experience to get the best kind of reaction from them all. I'm expecting to jump an awful lot. I'm expecting them to be very, very scurry from what, what people have said about it. So I'm hoping it's going to be a really good night. Really, really good night. It's all on, on, on the cover as well, so that's always a good thing when it's flashing down the way it is at the moment. So I'd imagine that every actor is going to ambush us again. and just really, really can't wait for it now. And is your local GP okay with you being here tonight? I don't know, you know. My watch keeps buzzing all the time every time I'm in a maze saying uh, your heart rate's rather high now, Mark. You might want to think about taking a minute, but it's all good, it's all good for the time being. Good stuff. Biscuit. biscuit. What kind? Biscuit, biscuit. Digestives. He's got digestives, you know. Biscuit. 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 I'll get you. Biscuit. He's got all the biscuits. Biscuit. 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 First up is the carnival, which means that Mark is, of course, leading, because it's going to be Plow Maze. Plow Maze is standard, isn't it? Yeah. Every time it's a Plow Maze, I'll lead because, let's be honest, I'll jump all over the place. Yeah. Clowns will jump at me and I'll jump out of the way. Yeah, definitely. So, so looking forward to it, it should be good. Yeah, Plow Mazes are always a lot of fun, especially when you're at the front. Exactly. So, we'll see anyway. Looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. <laughs> Very important. She told me. Alright, okay. Not where she was told, unless you want to stay at the fun fair forever. You don't want to stay at the fair forever, do you? No, no, it'd be an unfair that was it. Very unfair. <laughs> Just me and Mark in this maze. Oh dear. Roll up, roll up. You there, get into a cloud and roll. Come on, into a board, into a board. Oh, you all in. It's impossible to try and get any decent cannibals recently. Can you imagine? Don't you want to do it? Only 80% chance of death. Well worth it. 
Would you like to spin wheels, sir? Yeah, spin wheels. Wonderful. Now, Wheel of Death has two possible outcomes. Two possible. You may win life, or you may win death. What will it be, sir? Spin the wheels. Spin the wheels. Spin it, sir. Oh, it's tense potatoes. Everyone say bye, Mark. Bye, Mark. Now, Mark, if you'd like to follow me to play your prize on your own, that's it, Mark. Bye, Mark. Come on, it's just go. Bye, Mark. Bye now. Bye. Are we going to get a move on? I'll try. Off we go, Mark. Down we go. Bye, bye. Bye. that I meet my audience is so direct. My creations speak for themselves, so to speak. My technician. Not a controversial. I have several ways. I think one. Stupid chap! What are you doing in the way? No! Who are you going to put that there? I have several ways to make people live forever. You do. You have a delicate constitution. Yeah, 
Let's have a bit of blood on the water! You should watch out! You should watch out! Bloody massa! No! What? You never listen! Oh. You never listen, you ass! Nobody ever listen to no. Mr. Mongo! Oh, they like this! Oh, we just don't know this shit! This is a problem! I'm the one who knows everything! It's a tight road, yeah! You should know what to do when you are told, okay? 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 okay. Understand? Understand me? Okay! You let that button out! Bye! Bye! Well, we made it! That was good, that. I really enjoyed it. Uh, different, different. Very, very different. Very different, but really, really enjoyed that. that was super, uh, really good. The interaction with the actors was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it was more of a show yeah. than a scare maze. Yeah, exactly. Was, you sometimes wonder, like, are they all the same? But that's literally thinking outside the box. That I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, at one point, we got split up, and I was like, oh, no. We have to go solo now. Yeah. But it was alright, I mean, that bit at the end, I thought he was going round in circles. Yeah, I did as well. He was literally just going round and round and round. I was like, we just going round and round and round as well. But no, it was really good. Like, the actor at the start, the actors, each one of those actors are brilliant. Really enjoyed it. Excellent. That was clowns like I've never seen before. That was, that was fantastic. Totally thought out of the box for that maze. You know, it's not the usual clown maze where they just jump out at you. It's, they obviously jump out at you in different places, but wow. It's just like a really good show as well. It was not just a scare maze, it was a show and with the scares. And as you saw, Mark was a victim because he was being filmed, which is great for me because a lot of entertainment for me. And But yeah, I'm glad it wasn't me. I'm glad it was Mark, I've got to say. Very, very interested to see what the rest of the mazes are like here now because you can tell already that they think outside the box. people we know who did this last week not much of a queue so we're going to be going straight in and I think Mark's volunteering to leave this one as he's looking forward to a lot more jump scares are you ready not really not really but we'll see what it's going to be like when we're through let's do it let's do it do not like this at all <laughs> Then. 
shed ever. I think oh, it's man. that way. Ooh. Thank you. 
Alice in Wonderland. And yeah, Alice in Wonderland inspiration act, I think. That was pretty messed up. You probably saw me sort of swimming through the air because I was worried about walking into a wall or something. I had 3D glasses on and it was really difficult because it's so well done in there to tell where you're going. It's just so hard to say where we're supposed to go here because some of the because of the glasses some of the spaces just did not look big enough and I'm thinking there's arrows pointing down have I got to go beneath something or what's going on here but do you know what I think I got quite lucky leading that one because I think there was only one scared that really got me whereas the rest of it was more a case of where am I going where am I going the chainsaw at the end I saw them quite early and I could hear them revving up so they really get me but I'd imagine that there was a bit of a delay in Mark getting out of the maze, probably to see it held him up with that chainsaw. I thought it was good though, I thought it was good. Probably the weakest one so far, but it was still really good. I think it's one of those, if you put it in, probably in a theme park, with alongside theme park mazes, it'd probably be one of the best mazes without a doubt. Very good again, looking forward to the next one, but we'll hear from Mark before we do the next one. You had a break from leading, yeah. you were the cameraman, how was that one for you? It was alright, you know, obviously I had to still play it up to the camera, which is always good. And it's, when I was walking around, obviously I didn't have glasses on with filming and that, you could literally see and I could admire some of the sets and how it's put together, and that is a well put together maze for me. Literally, it's like you could see where the actors would be able to use the spaces around there, and that makes for a good maze because if actors can hide and use that space well and then come at you, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, what have we got left? We've got a hayride. We've got a hayride. The offering. Offering and the cage. Cage or cage stall. I'm not sure what that one's called. I know there's a chainsaw in there though. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no. I think I'll film in that one and uh, you can have the pleasure of filming me absolutely bricking it in the offering. Nice. I, I really am worried about that one. It, it does look a bit de demonic, so should get some good jump scares in it. Yeah, and we're still not sure if we're going to get to do the hayride, are we? It's got a bit of a big queue. It's got a bit of a big queue, and the weather isn't great, so apparently it is one of the best hayrides, so we'll see We'll see how it goes later. Yeah, definitely. So on to cage next, I think. The cage, yeah, we'll do the cage. Let's do it. Ha <laughs> ha! 
piston case. No chainsaws, but that was some scary stuff going on. Yeah, when they put the smoke into the first room and you couldn't see any of the actors at all. It's like, where have you gone? Where have you gone? And then they just pop up like over a wall or underneath or scurry across in front of you. Really well put together, mate. Again, that proper happy jumping. Then when you do something about it, as soon as you're going through flats, they just seem to know that you're at the flats. So yeah. they do it, and you're like, where have you come from? Where have you come from? Just so good. Really, really enjoyed that, mate. Really enjoyed it. Such, such a good mate. And now we've got the offering. But I'll do a review of Cage. Yes. I've got to leave. Oh, no. You've got to leave. Firstly, before I do my review of Cage, big shout out to Matt and Callum, who's now in between doing Cage and Wonderland. Remember the name of Wonderland. So, yeah, big shout out to Matt and Callum. And a big thanks to all the staff at right now who made this feel so welcome tonight. And the actor quality as well is superb. It's just so, so good. Cage is no exception to that. All the actors, which I hope, hope you've seen on the footage, were excellent. They had us jumping. We went through on our own. Just so good. So good. And it's such a strange setting as well. You, you went from one sort of area to the other and it flowed so well and then all of a sudden, wow, actor has got you. You're jumping all over the place. Excellent. This place is fantastic. Every maze has been superb. Roman actors, superb. Really can't recommend it enough already. We've not even done everything. It's just fantastic. Can't wait to do the offering. Well, I can because I'm leading. But well, that's where we're going next. And yeah, I'm going to be bricking it. So let's go. I'll talk about in a minute once we've heard from Mark. Highlights of the night. Each base has been really, really solid. Thoroughly enjoyed seance. Absolutely fantastic maze that. The overall 
atmosphere around the park as well is it's, it's infectious because you can everyone's having a good time. The food offerings here are fantastic, and it's it's just this good overall atmosphere. And you're walking around, and all the staff are, in, are absolutely so friendly. They will literally talk to you and talk about how much you, you know, what have you done, where have you been, and it's it's just such a good, well put together event for me. It is it's, it's one of them when you come to it like. I must do it again. I need to come back next year. I need to keep following on. It's it's just that's it. The mazes are, are different, different to what other mazes have been done. What we've done throughout the year. No, they have thought outside the box. Like when we did the clown maze and that. It's it's a different clown maze. It's not your average one. So overall, highlight is just the overall event. It's been absolutely fantastic. I can't recommend this place enough, really. Excellent. Is there anything that you would improve? The only thing I would say is if you've come in and it's been bad weather like it has been for us, we're wellies. Because we've been walking around like um, ballet dancers at points like, like that, trying to make sure we don't slip over. But other than that, nah, I really wouldn't change anything. It's, it's just so good. It's just, it's just need to keep adding to it now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I can only echo what Mark said, it's just been an excellent night. Before I get into all the reviews, I'm going to talk about the hayride. It is absolutely lashing it down. We're not going to be able to film much because of the weather. The queue's quite long and I think we're just going to leave it for tonight. We can't film on it anyway because of the weather. Like I say, I think we probably would have been allowed to film on it, but it's just the weather. It's going to be, it's just going to ruin the footage really, it's going to be so wet on the camera that there's a risk of ruining the camera and also you won't be able to see anything other than raindrops. So unfortunately we're not going to film on that one, I'm not sure if we're going to decide let's have a go anyway but I can't see it to be honest because like I say it's absolutely lashing it down and I know as well that they are really trying their hardest to keep it open but the weather is really working against them on that front. And you know what, we could have quite easily called tonight off of the weather, it is. I will definitely wear wellies next time. It's recommended in the email, they sent an email out today saying wear wellies, and I thought I've heard that before in these type of attractions, and I thought I'd just wear my trainers. Bad idea, I should have brought wellies. So, if you are going to come to Frightmare and there's the slightest bit of rain, wear wellies or really good boots that are not going to get your feet wet because I've just worn my normal trainers and they look like I've been uh, in a Jeep Safari and then going around, you know, walking with rhinos in the pond or in the swamp or something because they're just, well, they're a different colour, they're supposed to be red and they're not red anymore. So, yeah, wear wellies, definitely wear wellies if you're going to come here. If we could change one thing, maybe sort of change the Roman actor characters a little bit. The actual Roman actors have been fantastic, but all the characters are quite samey. They all kind of do the same thing, other than the baby shouts biscuits, which is really funny. But they're all like quite similar in what they, they offer as a character, whereas I think the actors have been great in their roles. I just think we could maybe have some slightly different sort of characters for those actors to perform as. But they have been fantastic, don't get me wrong. On to the highlights. Every maze is fantastic. It's not just the actors, the sets are amazing. And there's bits where you walk through it and you think, oh yeah, I can see where I'm going next minute. It's misted up and, oh, no, I can't see where I'm going. Before you know it, you've got an actor coming at you and you're just like, whoa, where did you come from? So they, they've done a great job with the sets, with the, the smell pods, with the mist, with the actors. Can't fault it, really can't fault it. I'm disappointed the weather's gone against us for the hayride, and I'm just hoping that it'll ease off. But even now, I don't think it's gonna. It's it's set in for the night, and yeah, bring you Ellis. Really can't thank the staff here enough. They've, they've just gone out of their way to make tonight fantastic for us. Whether it's been the marketing team, whether it's been part of the screen park team, or just the staff here. And the actors have all been fantastic. They've just made it an incredible night for us. And it's been worth the two and a half, three hour drive down here, which was a struggle with the M6 and the M5 not playing ball. It was a uh, standstill quite a lot on the way down here, but it has been worth it and it's been a great night. So all I can say is, if you're still making some plans for your Halloween season, which is sadly coming to an end really, there's about two weeks left at most, come to Frightmare, 
give it a go, it's well worth your time and you will really, really enjoy it. So thanks for having us right there, really appreciate being allowed to come here, film the mazes and have a great night. Thanks to everyone for watching another Pleasure Beach Experience Halloween video and we'll see you in the next one.